Hiya, and thanks for dropping in to my second Facebook Live here from the Ministry for Freedom. You'll notice that I'm wearing a different tie to last time. That's because I'm feeling increasingly free since we left the European Union. Almost liberated, one might say. And so I selected this rather rakish colour. Leaving the EU, you see, has made me feel, well, almost giddy. I'm out and about. Uh, this is the cricket team in my home village of Upper Thorax. They're getting some practice in. Now I've hoisted this because cricket, you see, if I may make a serious point, is a celebration of all that we had lost while we were part of the European Union and what we've now regained, what we've now taken back control of. Cricket is no longer banned as it was when we were inside the European Union. Hurrah. Cricket, you see, is a splendid metaphor for what it means to be Great Britain. Or what should I say? Great England these days. Freedom and cricket are very much one and the same thing. In other words, we can't all hold the bat. Freedom has boundaries, if you will. And we can stand on those boundaries just inside the line, miles from the action, standing around waiting for something to happen. And it's very much the same in cricket. Now I'm going to come clean. I'm not actually out and about. It's a green screen, of course. Ah, now I better just be clear that this has been made in England. Ah, so dear me, no, it's made in Denmark. But still, Denmark isn't part of the EU. So, uh, what's that, Martin? Ah. Martin, Martin's my spad, and Martin tells me that Denmark is in the European Union. Oh. Well, lucky escape there, then. Now, of course, it was going to be a large Union flag, but Michael's got them all for the Wrap Yourself in the Flag initiative. He's busy making a warehouse full of Union flag duvets for Wrap Yourself in the Flag Day. He's being helped by a, a voluntary women's group from his constituency. They seem to follow him everywhere he goes, and they wear the same colour blouse, oddly. A rather fetching colour of beige. The beige shirts, he calls them, with a twinkle in his eye. They're the Union Volunteer Flag Wavers, or the UVF. And, ah, yes, Martin, sorry. Oh, righto, righto. No, they're, they're not actually called the UVF. They're called the Volunteer Union Flaggers. FUV. Anyway, well done, ladies, and well done, Michael. This is all part of my new national policy thrust, which you will almost certainly have seen up your alley. We've called it Fly the Flag, or... F the flag, as we say here at the department. Now, I think I should give you an update on the man bag incident that I mentioned last time. Inspectors from Ofmov have had a chat with my partner, Norman, and I'm afraid that very much my lips are sealed. That's... Ah, Martin has another contribution. Okay. <laughs> Martin says that he wishes my lips were nailed together. He's very droll. All I can say is that while this is still under investigation, I cannot comment any further. Inspectors from Ofmoff have taken away the contents of Norman's man bag, contents he packed and that I saw him pack, and they are undergoing forensic chemical analysis at Porton Down. Now to the Freedom Charter. This has got you all very excited. I can't tell you how excited I am to read both the tweets that have been sent to me. So let's see who's calling in 
this afternoon on Facebook Live. Who's in the chat room? Ah. Oh, no, 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 there's one, there's one. Let's see. <clears throat> uh, let's see if perhaps we'll get another. No. Well, anyway, um, Dave from Sunderland asks, now that we're free, is it all right if I shoot my neighbour? Or in fact, anyone I dislike. I don't like Europeans. I don't much like Londoners. I don't like the people on the other side of my town. And I don't really like myself, says Dave. So am I free to shoot my neighbours? Dave, I'm going to come back to you on this. I'll, I'll take it to cabinet or, as we call it, you're having a laugh. Oh, lovely. Here's another question come in, and this is from a Martin from Whitehall. Ah, I think I've rumbled you, Martin. Is this you, Martin from Whitehall? <laughs> it's a card. Let's see what Martin from Whitehall has asked. Martin's question is, who the hell are you? Well, I'm glad you've asked me that, and I'd like to be perfectly candid. Let me tell you a little about myself. 